good morning to you in the mighty name of jesus christ weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning i say good morning to your health in the name of jesus I say good morning to your career in the name of Jesus. I say good morning to your spiritual life in the name of Jesus. I am saying, let your joy manifest. I am commanding day concerning you. I am commanding that weeping to expire, that darkness to expire, that sorrow to expire, that trouble to expire. Concerning you, let there be joy. In your finances, in your marriage, let there be joy. In your career, in your way, let there be joy. I declare good morning. I call forth good morning in Jesus' name. Jesus. Welcome back to the channel. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding our verse for today is from proverbs chapter 27 and verse 3 which says a stone is heavy and sand is weighty but a fool's wrath is heavier than both of them now this verse is not saying that the fool can do more than what people can do no it's just saying the result of the fool's action the repercussion of that foolish person's action is very dire. It is going to impact people. Not what the action is that is bad, but the aftermath of that actual action is very heavy. The social impact of that foolish person's action is very heavy. In other words, the entire world is going to feel what this person does imagine having a foolish person as a president and i'm not going to lie i'm not even going to trip <laughs> there have been some foolish people as presidents in different parts of the world and even to this day there are nations that are suffering because of the weight of the decision or the weight of the repercussion of the decision that was taken by that foolish leader. A stone is heavy, yes. Sand is weighty, yes. But the wrath of a fool, when he does something out of his foolishness, it is like a ripple effect. Everything starts to feel it. One nation will feel it, the next nation will feel it, the next one will feel it. Families will feel it. Homes will feel it. Marriages will feel it. One stupid action done out of wrath by one foolish person. Again, you heard me say it once, you hear me say it twice, 5,000 times. Avoid foolish people. These people, God will deal with them. And when God deals with them, he will deal with them hard. Trust me, when God slapping them, you don't want to be anywhere close before the slap take you as well. <laughs> when God going to pass out that slap, trust me, you don't want to be there. You need to run for your life. Stay as far from them. And by now, and this is why we are looking at the book of Proverbs, that we would acquire wisdom, that we would know how to identify a foolish person, that we would know how to spot them from afar or even from close, that we would separate ourselves from them. We would know how to deal with them. If we are friends with them, we would know how to get out of that friendship. Why? Because there is destruction that is looking around that fool. There is destruction. Everything he wants to do, everything that he plots in his heart to do, will impact many people. And that is the thing. He doesn't think or she doesn't think of the impact of her action. They just figure, oh, let me just do it and not care about who gets affected. This is really what makes them foolish. So let's pray to God. <laughs> and, he would, and he would rid the world of foolish people. <laughs> I joke it, I joke it. But there is nothing really you can do with them. You pray for them. You give them the word of God. You try to help them. That's it. But if they don't want to hear, I mean, they foolish for a reason here. So this is what we'll bring our video to an end for today. I thank you so much for being here with me today. Just want to remind you to hit that like button. Hit that um, post notification. Share this video in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you all so much for being here with me today. I say good morning to you and congratulations. Your joy has come. Your promotion has come. Your blessing has come. Your peace has come. I see you growing. I see you advancing. I see you moving forward. I am celebrating a few. I say good morning and congratulations. 
in Jesus' name. They call Jesus. Decibel.